Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on another episode of Arts, Crafts, and Everything in Between. Hello, I'm your host Eileen, aka The Little Crafter. You can find me at www.eileenthelittlecrafter.com Alrighty guys, today's show is my journey with autism. And as you know, I am a stay-at-home married mom. I have a son, uh, one crazy cat, and two mischievous ferrets. And... Our little boy is 11 years old, and he is on the spectrum of autism. We found this out when he was about 7 or 10 months old. Um, He was just about turning 1. He had significant delays, and I was lucky enough to be in part, take part in a program for new moms, and they had noticed some things, and so did some other family members, and I kind of brushed it off a little bit because, you know, you don't want to think that, you know, something is wrong with your child, especially it's your first and only child. So you can imagine my, um, my frustration with the whole situation. Um, and a lot of crying, a lot of arguing, it just, you know, because it affects the whole family and it's a journey that you don't you take personally and you also take with your family because this you know he is a part of the family he's a member of the family he is someone that everyone loves and cares about you know and you're an individual but you're also this huge group you know and so it's it's it it kind of was intense there for a pretty long time you know when we first got the um diagnosis and it taught us a lot of about ourselves and I think about our family family dynamic and I think that we've as a family and personally have grown and become even stronger through this um so it is a long tedious road and it is a road that you know you will in some shape or form will always be um running you know walking um actually you not running because <laughs> uh, you know it's life uh, basically this is your life and you are living it and you're going through you know whatever it is and it is something that you just gotta somehow find the strength to go through um i have to say that I've learned a lot um, from everybody that I've encountered, the good with the bad, and I just look at him and I think he is my hero because I learned so much from him. I learned so much about patience, um, things that I didn't think that I could be capable of doing and trying to achieve at times. I I think that he helps me become that person that I need to be and remembering that <laughs> it's going to sound kind of funny, but he didn't ask to be brought into this world. My husband and I brought him into this world and we need to be the best people that we possibly can be for him because he's our, our son. He's part of us. He is our son and I am honored and proud to have him in my life and I just want everybody to know that if your child is autistic it will get better it will get worse it will get better and then it can get even worse and then it could get better and it's a journey and you are definitely not alone Um, there are a lot of people um, that struggle through this. So if you need help, there are a lot of support groups out there, or you can even start your own support group. Um, I think that sometimes talking to others about this journey is important. Um, I don't feel that it's anything negative if you, you know, complain about it because you were dealt a raw hand, and so was your child, and. But at the same time, you got to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and 
be the best person you can for your child, whether it's just a mom, a dad, you know, you are their advocate, you are their chef, you are their chauffeur, you are their nurse, doctor, <laughs> you are their everything. And you just have to be, you just are a little more extra because you have to be their translator. <laughs> Um, and you have to constantly fight for them. You have to be stronger than I think sometimes than you're willing to admit. And then when you look at it and you wonder, wow, how did I do that? And when I stop to think about it, I just, I think, wow, I did this and I did this for him. Like, wow, you know, oh, wow. It's just amazing, and I am so happy that he's in my life. I am not always happy about the situation, but at the end of the day, I am I'm loved, and I am in love with my son. It, it It's hard to explain without the feelings you feel when you look at him, when he calls you mommy. When, I'm sorry, <laughs> when he says mommy, and now that his voice is changing, oh boy, <laughs> that, that's a kicker. Now we're kind of dealing with uh, puberty, so <laughs> we're, we're entering a new phase in our lives, so it's, it's, it's a new change, it's fun, and it's also very scary at the same time. Um, I think puberty for anybody is that way, but then you have to deal with um, the other factor of, you know, the symptoms, as I call them, I know that there's probably, you know, a better way of saying it, but this is the way we, we address it, you know, his autism symptoms, sim symptoms, um, and the normalcy of being a child, it's, it's, it kind of combines into this amazing little boy that we are so lucky and honored to have in our lives. And I just wanted to let you guys know that it is the most scariest and beautiful thing in the whole wide world to be a parent of an autistic child. And I would like for everybody in their own little way to support Autism Awareness Month, which is this month in April. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye for now.